Now, when you are selecting a standard, when you are trying to have the image archival, if I want to have something like that, what do I select? I mean, I'm just trying to bring innovation. You have different views of people saying innovation could get hampered if you only go by royalty-free. But is that true? Is that right? I think there is a forum where we can deliberate on. We've also seen how to handle RAND issues where RAND is the only choice. Yes, there are areas where you have to go in for RAND, but then how do you handle those patents? How do you handle if there is it all? Okay. Then there is another area on the market maturity. The standard is available. You have the open standard, but you don't have the products there. How do you handle? If I actually, give, how will you handle the migration path which is going to happen? Because if I say, okay, I'll, I announce it in next one year when the product is there, but then how do you handle the migration to it? The other, the last slide where I'll stop here would be the single versus multiple. We, under open standards, are sure that you want to have open standard to ensure interoperability. That's one of the key areas. Now, if I have more than one standards within a subdomain, can I ensure seamless interoperability between the standards at any point of time over the years? And how does, what happens if I actually have multiple standards which are to be supported within the implementations and the cost effectiveness? Those are aspects to be considered. Uh, with this, of course, these were the three areas where I felt there would be an important uh, deliberations which could happen because uh, any government which is drafting the policies, because I've seen a lot of interoperability frameworks, these are exceptions. They have not been framed up in the policies.